Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 6-139 that is taken from chapter number 6, Bending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler, 9th edition. So statement is the curved beam is subjected to a bending moment of 40 pounds into feet. Determine the maximum bending stress in the beam. Also sketch a two-dimensional view of the stress distribution acting on section AA. So you can see this is the curved beam layer that is acted upon by this movement m and which is given as 40 pound into feet so you, due to this movement you have to determine the maximum bending stress in the beam so let's start with the solution so here you can see we i have written the formula that is used in curved beam the first one is this one second one is this one and third one is this one so in this formula sigma is equal to normal stress or bending stress m is the moment that is given what is this capital r so capital r is distance from this center of curvature till to the point where its neutral axis lies so this distance is r we will find this clear what is this small r so small r is distance from the centroid center of this curvature to the any point it can be here it can be here it can be anywhere so where you want to find the stress and this r dash will be equal to distance from this center of curvature till the centroid of this section so we will find them each by each so let's start with the finding radius r dash r dash which is the distance i will write a distance from center of curvature to the centroid to centroid of section clear so we will find that what is the center of curvature so you can see this arc is bent in a curve and it is forming a arc having uh, radius is 3 inch so this is center of curvature so what if I I extend this center of curvature our x is passing through this center of curvature and let take this as a reference line in order to find the uh, centroid of this section which is t section so for that i will write the formula this r dash will be equal to sum of y dash into a divided by sum of area so let this is your first try uh, this first rectangle is your part one and this second rectangle is your part two so for from this we will get y1 dash into a1 plus y2 dash into a2 divided by sum of area which is equal to a1 plus a2 and we, what is area a1 so i will write it a1 is equal to you can see here this is 2 and this is 0 0.5 so 2 multiply by 0 0.5 square inch what is area a2 so area a2 is you can see this height is 2 and this width is 0 0.5 so it will be again 2 into 0 0.5 square inch now what is y1 dash so y1 dash is distance from this reference line or sent from the center of curvature till the mid of this first section so you can see we have to find this distance which is y1 dash and this y1 dash you can see that this distance is equal to this is 3 inch so 3 inch plus 2 inch 5 inch plus 0 0.25 so this will be equal to 5.25 inch so i will write it y1 dash is equal to 5.25 inch 5.25 inch now what is y2 dash so y2 dash is distance from this centroid of section of curved beam till the mid of second section so this distance is already you can see this is already three clear so three and half of two is four so this distance is four inch and i will write it here this is equal to y2 dash y2 dash and this that is equal to 4 inch okay now 4 inch now I put all these values in this formula so r dash will become equal to 
y1 dash is 5.25 multiply by 2 multiply by 0 0.5 which is area a1 plus y2 dash is 4 inch into 2 area a2 which is 2 multiply by 0 0.5 divide by I will write 2 multiply by 0 0.5 plus 2 multiply by 0 0.5 so when you solve this, you will get this R dash, which is distance from center of curvature to the centroid of section comes out to be 4.625 inch. This is this R dash. Okay. Now I will remove these things. So in order to have a clear understanding about what is R dash. So let me plot it. So R dash is distance from neutral axis till the mid, of, uh, sorry, uh, distance from the center of curvature till this centroid. This is, let this is the centroid. So this distance is R dash. Distance from the center of curvature till the centroid of this section is R dash. And this R dash is 4.625 inch. Now we will move toward finding second term which is capital R so capital R you can see it is equal to area divided by integral of dA over R for the entire area so what is the area total area so total area A is equal to A1 plus A2 which is equal to 0 0.5 multiply by 2 into 0 plus 0 0.5 multiply by so 1 plus 1 will give you total area will be equal to 2 square inch. Okay. Now the second term here is this one. So I will write integral of dA over R for the entire area. So you can see this, these two portions are rectangle 1 and 2 and they are away from this reference line. So for that we will take the value of this this from this table since our shapes are rectangle so this line is the axis of axis passing through curvature so you can see that this from this axis the uh, the rectangle is locating at a distance of r1 from this and r2 from this having width or breadth is equal to b so as we have two triangle so first we uh, the formula is the general formula will be equal is equal to b into ln of r2 over r1 but as we have two sections so i will write integral of da a over r this is not da this is a this is a okay for the first section let me show you here you can see this will be this is the centroid uh, axis passing through this center of curvature. So for that, for section 2, let let's take section 2 first. So for section 2, this will be equal to R1. So R1 is 3 inch. You can see 3 inch. And R2 is distance from this centri center of curvature till the top layer. So this is equal to 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. So R1 is 3 and R2 is equal to 5 so i will write it and the width is 0 0.5 for this so i will write the b is equal to 0 0.5 ln of r1 was uh, r1 was uh, r2 was 5 and r1 was 3 so this is for first section now we will move toward the second section which is this one so for that r1 will one will be this one which is equal to 5 and R2 is this one, which is equal to 5.5 inch. And breadth here, you can see the, sec the breadth of this section is 2. So I will write plus 2 into ln of 5.5 divided by 5. So when you solve this, this will give you 0 0.44603 inch. Now you have both the values, you can just plug it in this formula which is equal to R and area is 2 divided by this integral of dA over R for the entire area is 0 0.44603. So when you solve this, you will get this 
0.0 inch. Now what is this R? It is the distance from the centroid till the neutral axis of this curved beam because in curved beam the neutral axis do not pass through does not pass through the centroid so this will be r so you can see this r is 4.480 and which is below from this centroid so let this distance is capital r i will write it over here this capital r is equal to 4.48 uh, sorry, 4.4840 inch. Okay, now we will find, you can see we have find out this capital R, we have find out this R dash and R clear. So we will find this E. So E will be equal to R dash minus R. So R dash is how much? R dash is this 4.625 minus R is 4.480. So when you solve this, you will get this is equal to 0 0.1410 inch. Now each and every value is available except this R. This R I have already told you that this is the distance from this center of curvature to the any point where you want to find the stress. It can be anywhere like this. And since we have been asked to determine the maximum bending stress, in the beam so maximum bending stress will either occur at this point or at this point let this point is point a and this point is point b and you can see due to this movement the beam will straighten up and this top portion will become in in com, uh, in compression clear uh, sorry this uh, this top due to this movement this upper one will be in compression and this bottom one will be in tension okay now what we will do is that we have been given the uh, max um, bending moment here so just plug it in this formula this is the formula so for for point or point a which what what is point a point a is this a so this distance will be equal to r a this is your point a and this is your point B. So this is equal to R A. So first we will find the allowable bending stress for point A. So for point A, R A is equal to how much? R A is equal to 3 inch plus this 2 plus 0 0.5, which is 5.5. .5. I will write R is 5.5 inch. And since point A is in compression, so I will write sigma A is equal to M into capital R minus R A divided by E A into E into R A. So put the value M is equal to how much that is given as 40 pounds into feet. So we will convert this 40 pound into feet in 40 multiplied by 12 will convert it into 40 uh, 40 multiplied by 12 will convert it into pound into inch. So this is the value of movement. What is capital R? Capital R is 4.480 minus this RA. RA is 5.5. Divide by area. Area is 2. What is E? So we have calculated E. Where is E? Where is E? E is here. This is E. This is E. So 0. 1410 multiply by RA is 5.5. .5. So when you solve this, you will get stress, normal stress at point A come out to be 3 minus 314 PSI. So this is equal to 314 PSI and it means that point A is in compression. Negative sign shows that point A is in compression. Now we will move toward uh, finding the bending stress for point A or B. So bending stress for point B which is in tension. So the form sigma B will be equal to M multiplied by capital R minus RB divided by A into E multiplied by RB. What is RB? So RB is distance from center of curvature till this point B which is equal to 3 inch. 
write here. So I will write RB is equal to RB is equal to 3 inch. Rest all values are available. Moment was how much 40 pound into feet. So 40 multiplied by 12 will convert the unit into pound into inch. Multiply by R capital R was 4.480 minus RB is 3 divided by area was 2. E was 0 0.1. 1410 multiply by RB is 3. So when you calculate it, you will get stress at point B comes out to be 842 PSI. Since the value is positive, so it means that point B is in tension. Okay. So these are the answers of our this question. Now in second part, it is given that sketch the two dimensional view of stress distribution acting on section AA. So this is section AA. So I will take this section AA. So let this is section AA. And you can see the, the rest of the portion of this will be like this. And we again know that this R dash capital R is distance from this center, uh, center of curvature till the neutral axis is 4.480 so let this is your 4.480 this is the location of neutral axis clear so about neutral axis we have seen that point a was in compression clear and point b was in tension so i will draw this for point a this top portion was this is sigma a which is 3, 4, 314 so this will be 314 psi and this is neutral axis so in curved beam it will follow a hyperbola clear so this will and at this is your point a at this is your point b so at b the bending stress was 842 psi and it will be in tension so this hyperbola will follow like this clear and you can see this members in compression and this will be in tension okay so this is the sketch or stress distribution acting on section aa and that was all about this problem 6-139 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.